Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mona Ibrahim. Today, we are going to talk about a very important kind of bonds in chemistry, which is covalent bonds. Covalent bonds is a bond depending on sharing electrons in the molecule. First, covalent bonds are consists of three main types of bonds which is pure covalent bond, non-polar covalent bond, and polar covalent <clears throat> First, I am going to discuss something before we are going to study our lesson today which is uh, the difference between compounds are and molecules and atoms The difference between their, these three uh, types of bonds are very important to study chemistry uh, in general so the difference between uh, the three types are compounds are formed from molecules and molecules are formed from atoms so for example if we uh, if we see the water molecule water molecule is formed from two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms we said two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms formed the water molecule so Molecules are formed from atoms. We are going to start with co pure covalent bond. Bonds are formed between two similar nonmetals. Similar. We are going to know why it's similar nonmetals. Because they have the same electronegativity. And when we are going to subtract their electronegativities from other from each other, they are going to give us zero. But they are they are going to give us zero. Uh, so the difference in the electronegativities between their two atoms are zero. For example, hydrogen molecule. This is the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule, uh, which is uh, consists of two hydrogen atoms. Two hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen atom, its electronegativity is 2.1. 2.1 minus 2.1 is zero. That's uh, the formation of hydrogen molecule. And the same works on fluorine molecule, which is formed, formed from two fluorine atoms, F2. Then the second type of uh, covalent bond, which is uh, nonpolar covalent bond. And this is the bond formed between two different nonmetals atoms. Why two different? The, the, the last one, which is pure, was too similar. Now it's too different. Why two different? Because they have to be different electronegativities, not similar. To to differentiate between them, it gives us more than zero and less than zero point four. The atoms, their atoms. For example, methane molecule, which is difference between their electronegativity is carbon and hydrogen carbon the electronegativity of carbon is 2.5 and the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 so the difference between 2.5 and 1 uh, 2.1 is 0.4 so this is a non-polar covalent compound polar covalent compounds the bond formed between two different nonmetals the last one was non-polar uh, was the two difference uh, two different nonmetals too but is what is the difference between nonpolar and polar the difference between nonpolar and polar is the electronegativities of these two atoms of the nonpolar compound is between 0 0.4 and 1.7 is more than 0 0.4 and less than 1.7 and this makes the atom a little bit different in shape as the difference in electronegativities between the bonded element and the polar molecule increases, the strength of covalent bond, the strength of covalent bond increases. For example, the hydrogen chloride molecule, which is uh, this is his uh, uh, its uh, electronic configuration, and this is uh, 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 a shape we are going to study the next lesson, and also. This is the shape of these strands are a little bit uh, away from each other, but they are not going to spread from each other. This is uh, the, the final of this lesson. Then we are going to have a summary of the pure non-polar and polar. We have to know that numbers are so important. Pure is zero. 
we have to know that they are have to similar have to be similar uh, non-metal atoms and non-polar is 0.4 they have to be different non-metal atoms to give us a different electronegativities between 0 and 0 0.4 and for polar covalent bonds they have to be different uh, uh, have to be different uh, non-metal atoms too why because when we differentiate them they are giving us between 0 0.4 and 1.7 and this is the polar compound or polar uh, covalent bond and from 0 bond from 1.7 and any number else it's the ionic compound or ionic uh, bond uh, and this is the end of the lesson uh, the next lesson uh, the next lesson we are going to study the theories of covalent compounds and this is very important and very easy lesson and uh, this is very important and very easy lesson and uh, bye see you later